all the sailing we've done, like all the really rough conditions in the Indian Ocean, like that was nothing compared to having a baby on the road. Beyond your toughens. A lot of the things that I really enjoyed with passages is no longer there. This is the story of Delos, a sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. After four months cruising north along the east coast of the US, the cold main winter had persuaded us to make our way back south so we could pack away the foul weather gear. Our plan was simple and rough. Just head south, with stops along the way being largely dependent on the ever-changing weather conditions, random invitations from mysterious planes in the sky, and the morale of the crew, especially the smallest one. We'd left from our most northerly point in Maine, and had already covered almost 250 miles via stops in Jewel Island and the city of Boston. And after a rough day of sailing and a passage through the Cape Cod Canal, it was time to come up with a plan for the next leg of the journey. Last bridge, good job, Ryan. I didn't hit nothing. Woo! But we're just trying to figure out where we should go. Because coming down the coast, we're playing with these lows that are coming up. And right now, there's a hurricane east of us that's uh, skirted east of Bermuda, and it's heading east of Nova Scotia. And it's actually creating northerly winds. Uh, which is not very common and so we're trying to figure out if it's worth it to keep on going because for the next 24 hours we have very favorable winds like 20 to 25 that would be right behind us do you feel like you could do another 24 hours i mean it depends completely on the conditions right if you would have asked me if i could do 24 hours of what we had earlier today i would have said absolutely no yeah uh, but now it's still a nice. So <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sure. So, so what's the verdict? What do you think? Uh, I think we should try to move. I, I would like to get going, and if we have good wind, it makes sense, right? So we're going to ride the back of the hurricane? Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Baby Nugs, take us to New Jersey. Take us to New Jersey, Nugs. what's gonna happen. Tonight we're gonna be sailing with the wind at the back of our boat. It's gonna be like right behind us and so we're gonna start adjusting our sails to capture the most of the wind. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move the mainsail and the mizzen way out because we have big travelers on Delos and when we move the sails way out it allows us to get the sail kind of perpendicular to the wind uh, and capture a lot more wind and we can go faster. So. <laughs> I don't care, I don't care. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we have to do is ease the main sheet. Pretty easy. Big ease on that, okay. And then step two, we're gonna go like this. Okay, now watch what happens to the sails here. As I turn this, it's moving the traveler over all the way to the edge, which is gonna put the sail out really far and wide much better for downwind sailing. Then the next thing we'll do is we'll set up our downwind poles. Poles are used in downwind sailing to help hold the head sail out to collect as much wind as possible and to keep its shape and prevent flapping which can occur when the boat is rolling. Setups can vary from boat to boat 
and ours is pretty slick. We have an interesting pole set up on Delos. It's different than other boats where the pole is on the front of the mast. On Delos, we have a small pole that goes from the, the mast out to our shrouds, and then we have a big articulating arm that hooks onto that and allows us to get it really far out from the boat, which creates like a giant scoop. And because the wind is going to be quite high tonight, like 20 to 25 knots, it's going to be a lot of wind nugs. Uh, we're only going to put up one sail, but we're going to go ahead and rig up both poles so that if we need to jive at night, we can do that without having to worry about it. So we'll run both poles, all the guys, and both sheets, uh, and we'll probably run on starboard tack, I'm guessing. And then we'll just see how it goes. So this is the bag of the control lines for the poles, and we have four lines. So we have the topper, and that's what holds the pole up. We have the downhaul, that's what holds the pole down. We have the four guy, that's what pulls the pole forward. And we have the after guy, that's what pulls the pole back. So with those four lines, we can manipulate and articulate the pole like any way we want. And all the blocks are already rigged up, so it usually just takes me and Kaza a few minutes to get the pole set. And uh, that's it. Should be pretty easy. So this is the strut, and this end goes on to the mast, and then this is the end that goes through the strands here that we clip the pole into. So, there it is. Okay, and this end just clips it up here, like that. And I usually like to do the topper nuck so that I, at least I have one line on the pole. Okay, so this is the topper. It's rigged up through a block up there. We just clip it on like that. This is the one that allows us to lift the pole up. This is the downhaul. So the important thing here is that I run it outside of the rail and all the lines, but inside of the sheet so that when we swing it out, the sheet is the furthest line out. Downhaul. We'll do the uh, after guy next. Just a simple stop or not. Last one is the four guy, which runs up through a block on the bow. This is exactly why we need the pole. You see what the jib is doing? It's just blanketed by the main. This goes to this cleat right here. Stop or not. And that's it, it's all rigged up. We always do the sheet on the outside of this block here, like this. Okay, now we're ready to swing the pole out. A little plenty of slack on this. Ready? You can see where it, where it's really worn, like that's where it's supposed to go, like right there. We just do that. There's where the old mark was. That's done, and then we're gonna bring it up a little bit so that it's perpendicular with that strut. Crank up the topper, about like that. I'll secure the downhaul. Yeah. I think we did everything right. It's been a while since we've had any downwind sailing. Yeah. Okay, coming out with the sail. one on the other side the same way as we did that one uh, but just kind of leave it hanging off the side uh, all good to go so like in case the wind switches at night and we need to put the sail downwind on the other side it's all rigged up so we don't have to do it at night so it's good to do it now when it's kind of calm and not pitch black <laughs> all right i'm throttling back
Oh yeah. Ah, so much better. We're sailing, Kaza. Good job. Thank you. That was awesome. We haven't done that in a while, and it went off without a hitch. Yeah, I love you. I love you too. Okay, okay. say hi to the nugs for me. I will. I'm gonna freeze my balls off out here. Okay, I think the wind's gonna come up. We should be seeing 20 knots, maybe 25, which should put our apparent wind uh, from 15 to 20, which is beautiful. And hopefully we have a really good night sailing. eight o'clock and I have just put Sierra to bed. I've uh, been down here for the last couple of hours and Brian is sitting outside. I think it's really cold out there. It's super nice and warm in here though but I'll see how she's doing and how we're gonna do the watches tonight. Literally Hi. everything. What's going on? Let me pause my podcast. Hold on. You see, Brian, when you... I'm listening to a podcast about time. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. We're doing well. I mean, we're doing six to seven knots. The wind is 15 to 20, uh, about 120 degrees off port side. So we chose the right side for the sail, which is nice. How do you feel? Like, how do you want to do the watches? I mean, you've been out here now for how many hours? Uh, I don't know, four, 12, 12 hours, four, 13 <laughs> hours, something are like that. Are you like super cold or are you super cold? No, I'm okay. Okay. Tomorrow I got my hot tea, I got my podcast, I got uh, donuts oh. <laughs> <laughs> from the nice guy that stopped by, gave me the whiskey and the donuts. Do you feel like you want to take a little nap now and then... Uh, well, you know, I, I, I have trouble sleeping like yeah. until okay. midnight, so... So why don't I come on at midnight and stay on until like 4? Okay. Or 5? Yeah, 4 is probably good. Just get a couple hours of sleep. So I'm about one hour into my walk. The wind has come up quite a bit. I think I mean, I've seen about 30, 32. It's kind of on the beam, so we get hit by these waves. It was one that kind of broke over the cockpit, splashing. I think still another hour until I can kind of turn us more downwind uh, and it will hopefully get a little bit more comfortable I think. Cross our fingers, hold our thumbs like we do in Sweden. <laughs> Whoa. On in. Quite a ride out here. It was rough there for a while. This boat continues to amaze me even after so many years. Yeah. It's like she takes care of you, she's not a handful at all yeah. and as long as you don't do something incredibly stupid like fall overboard or have way know, too much sail have out. Way or... like way too much sail out. You just gotta <laughs> set her up and then she kinda sails and you just go with it. Yeah. I'm That's just cool. not looking forward to nugget waking up. <laughs> oh jeez. It's so hard when it's moving like this because you have to carry her. And it's yeah. hard to walk by yourself and then to cook and to do anything when you hold her it's like impossible. So it might be a very tough day tomorrow. Ahoy Delos tribe! Winter is a coming and Kaza has designed these sweet hoodies to keep you warm and cozy. The liner is soft and fluffy and as usual they get our torture tested stamp of approval while we've sailed the New England coast. They're available in colors and sizes to suit all. So grab one for yourself or that special salty sailor in your life. Check them out at svdelos.com forward slash hoodies. The wind and swell continued to build through the night, and by the next day, our conditions had changed drastically. Hang on to your tuppets.
The conditions were challenging, but I think we made the right call. By setting sail after the low from the hurricane passed, we found ourselves eating up miles and making our way south. Up next on Delos, we reach a breaking point and realize just how much having Sierra on board has changed how we sail offshore. But all the sailing we've done, like all the really rough conditions in the Indian Ocean, like that was nothing compared to having a baby on the boat. Oh, there he is. Ah. Come on, where are we going? Ah, baby fingers. No, baby fingers. Seek and destroy. Da, 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 da. Dealing with so much lack of sleep. How about the baby nuts? I'm kind to that. Oh, sorry. Wait, what was I saying? The achievement. Oh. Um. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna retake that. Um. <laughs> <laughs>